Advice on balancing friendships with mom life, interracial couples, and just interracial marriages. Do I believe in karma? What's up guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am Adri and this is the Real Adriana channel. So I'm in the hot tub chilling right now and I thought it would just be a great idea for me to just do a girl talk video and to talk to you guys. I have a few questions written down that I'm just gonna get into. It's a few different topics like opening up about postpartum depression, um, talking about marriage, interracial relationships, all that, all that girl talk. So. Yeah, give this video a big thumbs up. Make sure you guys watch the entire video and let's get to it. First question is going to be advice on balancing friendships with mom life and like relationship life. Honestly, this is kind of hard for me because well, if you guys didn't know, I am 22. So I'm still kind of young, especially to have a kid. So I'm like the only one out of all my friends that even has a kid kind of like in a serious relationship and just like living the mom life you know so it is kind of different none of my friends have kids so it's not like we can like go out and do something with the kids but I feel like some people who don't have kids like just don't understand like mom life and just like yeah what my life consists of now but I feel like yeah it's just crazy sometimes like Cause when you're pregnant, everyone's like, oh my god, oh my god, all over the baby, saying like, oh, we're gonna be so close. Um, I can't wait to like do things with you and the baby. And then as soon as the baby is born, they are completely ghost. For example, I had a childhood friend who we were super close. Um, and honestly, I don't mind cutting people off when it comes to my daughter. I kind of lost respect for a lot of people ever since my daughter has been born, just off the fact that. You know, I've been friends with so many people and I've done so much things for people and just to see people that I thought were real just like not have any love for my daughter hurts. Yeah, and if you can't respect my daughter, if you don't love my daughter, then I really don't want you in my life. It's kind of that simple. It may kind of sound rude, but if you guys are moms and you're watching this, you probably understand. And when you do have kids, you will also understand like I said, she's number one priority in my life. Um, everyone's true colors will come out eventually. And yeah, there's just, I don't want no fake people. I don't want no fake love around her. Um, there's too many people in her life that absolutely really do love her. Um, especially me and her dad. Um, we love her with all our hearts. So yeah, she just doesn't, I want to keep all negative energy, all negative people just out of my daughter's life and just fill her life with positivity, happiness, and yeah love maybe easier if i did have friends who had kids they would just be un more understanding but as of right now i don't but maybe when we move and everything it's a whole new life we'll be living in a whole new city state everything so there's no telling what can happen so for question number two is my thoughts on marriage so i 100 percent believe in marriage but i do believe in marriage i do want to get married i always have wanted to i grew up with both my parents um, married and they were, they're still together. They've been together since before I was born. Always kind of saw like that love, that happy marriage. So of course that's what I want for myself as well. I do feel like a lot of people on the internet um, make marriage a kind of weird way or like try to push marriage on certain people especially with people who have kids before they're married. You get a lot of hate just saying like, oh, how could you have a baby without a ring? But honestly, how I look at it is you should not be really worried about what anyone else is doing with their life if it has nothing to do with you. Personally, I don't care what the next person is doing. I don't care if they're married. I don't care if they have five kids before they're married. It has nothing to do with me. So for the next question is just kind of like biggest pieces of advice. Um, that I could maybe even give my younger self or just to anybody watching this. But I would say number one is stop caring what people think. I feel like for a lot of my life, I would say younger, like high school and younger, I just really cared for some reason 
like what people thought and I feel like as I get older it's getting less and less like for example just to give you guys a little bit of like context I've been wanting to start this YouTube channel probably since I was like 14 I honestly just didn't because I was in the same small state that I grew up in and just like I didn't want to do this YouTube and just have people that I know like just watch it or just like I don't know maybe like make fun of me and stuff and as I got older honestly if you're making some fun of someone who's like trying to do something for their life you honestly must not have a lot going for yourself um envy is definitely real a lot of people are super jealous over um little things and a lot of people just don't want to support someone that's doing more than them yeah so I've stopped caring what people think because there's gonna be jealousy everywhere. There's gonna be people's opinions everywhere. And I feel like even as becoming a mom, definitely when you become a mom, everybody has an opinion on how you do things, how you parent, um, literally every single thing. And I have to just learn to literally not care because it's not their life and it's not their child. Um, but yeah, my second piece of advice is Honestly, as like when you're a kid and just like in high school, I would say try to stay single and just like live your life, work on yourself. Um, I feel like I would be so much further in life if I was just like single throughout high school and just like didn't focus on immature boys. It definitely taught me a lot. So I believe everything happens for a reason. And it definitely made me grow up. I'm 22 years old and I feel like I've been pretty mature and pretty grown up for a while now. Like I said, I did have a daughter. I had my baby at 20, um, so I had to grow up a little quicker, but I was 100% fine with that. Focus on yourself, do things for you, hang out with your friends, um, have fun. Like, don't worry about boys at a young age, because most of the time you're, you guys aren't going to last to marriage and everything from high school, because a lot of people are just super, super immature in high school piece of advice i would say is just travel as much as you can the money will return but the memories will always stick that's like one thing i've always done as a kid even just like with my family and that's kind of transform transformed into like my adult life too it's just like really wanting to travel um seeing the world one thing i really want to do is just like show my daughter the whole world make her travel um yeah, she's been to she's been to a few Caribbean islands already. She's been to Florida like three times already. So, and she's only one. So, definitely going to cross a bunch of things off her list as she gets older. Traveling definitely just lets you see more than just where you're from and just experience different things, different cultures, different food. I love experiencing new things, especially like on cruises just going to different islands and just seeing like how that island's culture is. It's super cool to me. I always love that. So yeah, that's my next advice is travel when you can. The money will return. So the next topic is going to be about interracial couples and just interracial marriages or people having kids that are biracial and just that whole topic. So as you guys may or may not know, um, I do have a YouTube channel with my boyfriend. I will put it right here so you guys can go subscribe to that as well. But um, yeah, I am white and he is black, so we are in an interracial relationship. Honestly, I grew up in a pretty diverse area, I could say. Definitely like Spanish, blacks, whites, Chinese, Asian, literally everything. Um, I believe, so what I believe, love is love, whether that's white and black, black and white, black and Spanish, Spanish and Asian, um, two girls, two guys, two non-binary i literally don't care um i believe you love what you love and yeah i don't discriminate nobody nobody really else's business what race you date or what gender you date uh yeah and so many people of course everyone like i said earlier everybody is going to have an opinion no matter what you do in your life there's always going to be people who make like little slick comments about us being different races and stuff and honestly we don't let it get to us we literally will laugh at the comments so much hatred towards interracial relationships still and it's just crazy because it's literally 2023 and y'all are really living like in 1950 still so you guys need to like grow up get with the times um if you're still looking at a couple and the first thing you notice is that they're different races 
you're something mentally not like clicking in your head you're definitely just not 100 percent there or something because i literally don't understand it um so yeah stop stop treating people different because of their races or their preferences or just like saying slick comments like i see so many comments um on tiktok and i post my daughter a lot on my tiktok um and obviously she is biracial so we just get like little comments saying like oh white mom with black or mixed baby um and it's just like what do y'all get out of that like really does it make you feel better to just like write a mean comment towards a one-year-old baby like there's literally something wrong with your head because i just i really just don't understand it and like i said before these people would never say a thing in person y'all are literally internet gangsters trying to be tough behind a screen behind a fake account behind a spam page um, so if you can't say it to someone's face, there ain't really no point of saying it through the internet because most likely that person's not even going to take you serious anyways. Like I said, we'd be laughing at the comments and deleting them right after. My next question is, do I believe in karma? And I do. Um, I feel like you will get your good karma if you give out good karma. Or I feel like you will get your good karma if you do good and I feel like you will get your bad karma if you are bad or if you're just like a mean not nice person um i feel like karma can come in multiple ways i feel like it doesn't have to be one way i feel like it can affect your money i feel like it affect your family i could feel like it could affect your mental health i feel like yeah going back to the last question just be kind because you never know if you're rude to someone and maybe you having a real bad day and then you gonna that's gonna be your day you get your bad karma and it's just gonna make your day terrible so just be kind do good to people and you shall receive last question it's kind of more so a discussion rather than a question but i'm just going to be basically talking about like how i became a content creator and how yeah everything to do with like content creation so like i said earlier in the video i did want to stop my youtube channel probably like 14 years old um and like i said i didn't because of how much i cared about what other people thought but so when I was 19, I actually made the move to Florida completely by myself. Um, and my plan was to get there, get settled and start my own YouTube channel and really be on my own for once and just grow um, and yeah, start this content creation. So when I did move to Florida, I actually like started being consistent on TikTok and I had one of my first videos hit like 250K. So I was like, wow, this is honestly crazy. And it was all like girls asking me how I moved to Florida, how I did it so young at 19 years old, completely by myself, no family. But um, like I was saying, so when I ended up getting pregnant, I really just started getting back into the content mode. And yeah, I just really started doing the content thing on TikTok. On, and then we start, me and my boyfriend started our YouTube channel first. And then I made this one. So I would say my biggest tips for just content creation is being consistent and finding your niche and what you like. So yeah, the weed lockers are back. So I think I'm just gonna end out the video here because they're kind of getting me mad. Um, so yeah, thank you guys for watching. If you guys want a part two, let me know because we'll be here for a week so I could definitely do a hot tub girl talk part two. So I love you guys and peace.